Hello guys, how's it going? <clears throat> um, there's some things that I need to talk about in uh, this short little video here. Uh, you probably already know by the title of the video, uh, but I have a few things to say. Um, some of them are a bit of a problem right now. And some of them are concerning some of the games I was going to have recorded and other stuff. But some things got in the way. Some. Some. Not, not a whole lot, but some things got in the way. First off, new equipment that I am using right now. Well, here's how it goes. I have two different softwares that I'm using. Well, I have OBS and I have Game Loilo Recorder. Now, depending on the game that I choose, that's only going to determine whether or not I can either run it on OBS or on Game Loilo Recorder. It might work on one, whereas it might not work on the other. See what I'm saying? So it becomes a little bit of a problem sometimes because when I have a certain game that I want to put out for you guys, OBS tends to want to be a douchebag and not want to run properly. And then everything is crap and then just I throw it all away because I can't get OBS to work for the game that I'm trying to play. But on the other hand, game Loilo Recorder or Loilo Game Recorder will actually run the game. Now there is a time where neither game will run on either, or now there will be a time where a game won't run on either program, and that really sucks because uh, that means I would have to get something completely new and completely different, something that actually costs money, and by money I mean a lot of money, and I don't have much money, so some problems here and there. Also, I am now, I'm using, I have just recently been using a uh, editing software for videos. It's called Filmora. It's fairly new, it's fairly recent. Um, it's like the other one, like Camtasia, that they're advertising right now. I'm trying Filmora to see how it feels and see how it works. So far, it works pretty well. And I, I love it so far. You can do so much with it, it's not even funny. The previous video that I did, which I didn't really expect it to get that many views, to be truly honest, because, well, things and that I that I didn't do before. Anyway, um, the thing about Filmora is that you can upload a video in 4K quality. Now that's pretty amazing, but here's the downfall though. While doing that, the video tends to take a freakishly long time to process and render and then finally upload through YouTube. And then once all that's done, I can actually go up in the YouTube editor and work out the stuff and the kinks there. And then I put out my video. But when I say freakishly long, I mean it literally half a day, if not a day. Depending on how long the video is, it takes a long time. It's still uploading as I'm speaking right now. It's here right in front of my face. And guess what? I, I, I exported this last night well not last night I exported this at 2 o'clock in the morning oh, actually let me, let me rephrase that midnight I think right now it is it is 724 and it still has a quarter of the way to go I do mean 7.24 at night, by the way. Uh, I'm not doing this at 7.24 in the morning. No, that... I would die. That would destroy me, okay? And, uh... 
I just, it's just been getting really crazy, guys. It, it, it's still uploading, and it, it's, it's, I'm not telling you what it is yet, but, ugh, it's taking forever. Uh, anyways, besides that, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible, but besides that, I tried to upload another part of One Shot for you guys, but when I did, the video was, right, was like around 57 minutes long, alright? And it was real close to uh, uh, one hour mark. Here's the bad part about YouTube. Editing. Wait, if you record a video, that's over an hour long, it won't even go to YouTube. You might be able to upload it, but you won't be able to see it in YouTube Editor because the file is too big. YouTube Editor can't process that. It has a one hour limit to YouTube Editor, so that's kind of a downfall, really. But, uh, with all that being said, and to set aside, I try to upload another part of one shot. I actually tried to record it, not upload it. And for some strange reason, Loilo Game Recorder decided to record the whole thing perfectly, only there was one problem. There was no audio at all. You couldn't hear me at all. It was just gameplay. You could only hear the game in the gameplay. That's it. So I decided to scrap that because I didn't want to do that. I mean, I, I still have it as I speak, but I just haven't gotten around to dealing with it yet. So I possibly screwed myself in uh, basically continuing the series of One Shot. I don't know if I can do that now because of what Loilo Game Recorder did to me. And I could have sworn I had everything right and everything was working, but it's a situation where something's working one day and then the next day it craps out on you for some stupid reason. That's kind of what I'm going through right now. So if some of my videos are late, I, I apologize very dearly. I really, really do because this is really, this is horrible. I just, it's, it's not that I'm bad. It's just that the equipment that I have is not the best, and I can't get good equipment until I, you know, get more money or something. Something's gonna happen. But. <clears throat> anyway, Spooky's House of Jump Scares has been a pain to get out too. It has. It's been a huge pain because, like I said, OBS doesn't want to work half the time, and it won't even run on Game Loilo, Loilo Game Recorder really 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 sucks um, but yeah I, I don't I don't know if I can actually go back to the beginning of one shot and try to go through all of it again and get back to where I was I don't think it's that kind of game I think it's a lot like Undertale where you just you know you basically uh, if you do one thing in the game the game will read everything that you do like say if you accidentally killed someone and you wanted to go back and erase it all and reset the whole thing well you would be able to do that but here's the thing the game would not forget the game wouldn't forget when you got back to that well when you when you go into the game it would be like I know what you did I know you killed that person blah 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 and it just breaks the fourth wall Entirely, and that's what that's basically what kind of the what kind of game Undertale is overall entirely. It is possibly the best experience of my life. But aside from Undertale, not really talking about that right now. I've got a little bit of a problem. So some of my videos might be late. Ugh, it, it really sucks. But I'm trying my best. I am. So, yeah. Also, new games, new games out there too that I really want to try out. But the the, the real the really good games I can't really try that out. I can't I can't speak. What the, what, why do I? What have I even tried? 
what the what, what the f Brent, those really good looking games, those new ones that I see all the time. I can't try those out. Like Hello Neighbor, I can't play Hello Neighbor because this computer is apparently garbage because I got to get a brand new graphics card and upgrade the whole thing. Whoa, yay, happy. Uh, so, yeah, so there's the problem with the softwares that I have. There's a problem with one shot. I don't think I'm going to be able to continue that series. I'm really sorry about that. Spooky's House of Jump Scares, that's getting really painful. And, um, that last thing that I said, I don't remember what it was. Ah! Uh, oh yeah, the brand new games that I can't play, so. I just wanted to get this message out to you guys, so that you guys don't think that I don't care about this enough, or I don't try hard enough. Honestly, I try really hard. I just don't have the time to do it that much. So... I think that I think I've pretty much said everything I can say. So, um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say. So, uh, thank you guys for listening, and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.